For me, Sencha is like a gesture of embrace, of welcome, but also of winding down, of deceleration. Because design is about the senses. It's all about feeling, seeing, tasting, perceiving, and I think we've succeeded very well with Sencha. So, the last few years have brought me many trips to Asia, and of course, the tea ceremony is crucial in the culture. Also, the tea bowl with its very organic shape. And that was a major inspiration for me and my team. For several weeks, we have worked to find the right silhouette, curve, with this fine lip at the top which is also a gesture, as if you want to take the bowl in your hand. Then, of course, there is also the ritual of body cleansing, as you know it in Asia, for example. So really, consciously going into the bath, cleansing the body. So it's really a ceremony, similar to a tea ceremony. That was definitely one of the aspects that were important to us during the development together with Duravit. It is important to me to use authentic materials. So wood, ceramics, glass. In this case, also a structured glass that plays with lights and shadow, with reflections. Because this authenticity, I think, is part of the harmony of the whole creation of this bathroom. And I think Sencha can be interpreted individually. As a designer, I provide the stage, of course. But how you ultimately dance on it is up to you.